The biggest mistake most businesses make is thinking networking produces higher quality leads than online advertising. And I get it. Everyone tells you that you need to know, like, and trust that person that you do business with, so it's easy to fall into that trap. But let me ask you, does everyone who runs a local service-based business generate quality leads through networking and chamber of commerce meetings? No. And you could actually waste a ton of time and resources if you continue to hold on to that belief. So how do you get the know, like, and trust factor and generate quality leads online? You set up the three pillars to generate quality leads online. So number one, you wanna make sure that you know your audience. Diving deep into the audience is not only understanding their demographics, which is age, sex, and gender, but also the psychographics, which is talking about where they would purchase things. Think about somebody who purchases something from Aldi or Albertsons or Walmart versus somebody who purchases things from, let's say, Whole Foods or Central Market or Nordstrom. There's different types of people who make different purchasing uh, decisions. Now, when deciding on which audience to go after, not one of them is right or wrong, but you have to know who you're serving in your audience so that you can create content that makes sense for them. Some groups may care more about affordability, while others care more about quality. Number two is strategy and automation. And we've created a three-step process with videos so that you can build that know, like, and trust factor without ever having to meet that person through networking or chamber events. The first type of video you wanna create is a thought reversal. Challenge your industry norms or beliefs, things that are going on in your industry that you may not align with and that you could actually add some truth to. If something isn't 100% true, then it can be a belief. And if it's a belief, then you can change the way that people are thinking about it. It's not to poke fun of or to challenge other people and tell them that they're doing something wrong. It's more so to get a group of people who are aligned with your goals and the way that you want to do business or the way that you're gonna serve your clients and have them raise their hands and say, I'm interested in your service. So that's video number one. The second video is a connection video. You want to relate to that person. So you're not gonna relate with everybody. So when you show up to a networking event or you show up to a, um, a chamber of commerce meeting, everybody you talk to is not going to like you and you have to understand that. The same thing happens online, but you still wanna give yourself an opportunity to talk to those people by creating content that resonates with them. For example, you're a business owner, you also provide this type of service and the meaning behind providing that service. So if you are, again, a marketing agency or if you're a dentist or if you're a chiropractor or you're a roofer, you have a deeper purpose behind why you're offering this service. Not only to provide jobs for your employees and to grow the community, but you may also be looking at it as like, okay, here's my retirement or here's the way that I can help my family grow or how I can um, add these new value or add this value to my community. Whatever that is, you need to create content around that to build a connection with them so they can rally behind what it is that you offer that's different and why they should relate to you. And the last video is like a what to do or a tutorial style video and that content is supposed to be focused on how you can add value to somebody and giving that value away for free. For example, that chiropractor, he may be able to show you tips to sit up straight, which if you're a chiropractor watching me, you probably need to sit up straighter at this point. But you're adding tips and values and tutorials so that you can add value to people so that they get to know that, oh, okay, this person is giving me value for free. I really enjoy this content. And the last type of video that you want is to make sure that you uh, give some kind of offer. So if they thought that you were a new uh, way of thinking, if they connect it with you and they like you and they added value to them by helping them with posture or with, if you're a dentist, cleanings or ways to keep your bad breath away, all of these things could help them. But then you need to make sure that you ask them to come and do something. So your fourth video um, that you would want to create is, all right, you've watched all this, Maybe you're interested in a free adjustment or a free consultation or a free cleaning or a free roof inspection. Whatever that offer may be, you want to invite them in. The automation part of this in stage two or that second pillar is to make sure that you're following up with email. It's the number one way that you can close deals and it keeps you top of mind. So make sure you're having email. And the third way to consistently generate high quality leads online versus going to chamber of commerce meetings or to go to networking events or lunch and learns is to know your numbers. 
it's a numbers game. So if you show up to a networking event and you have 50 people in the room, chances are you can talk to maybe five or six of them, but online you can talk to thousands. But if you know your numbers, you can say, I'm willing to spend X amount of dollars to be in front of a thousand people. And if I'm in front of a thousand people, I know that it costs me, let's just say $5 or $20 to acquire a lead. And for every five leads, I now get a customer. So I'll spend $100 to acquire a customer. You'll have to know your lifetime value of that customer, which is if somebody becomes a client today and they spend $200 with you and they come four more times throughout the year, that person is now worth hundreds of dollars to you, almost $1,000 versus that one-time cost where you said, ah, it's only worth $200. If they come a few more times throughout the year, it could be worth $800. So you could spend more money to acquire them and have a lifetime value of that customer of $800 plus, not to mention all the referrals that they could give off of that. Now, imagine doing that multiple times throughout the day or multiple times throughout the week. That's all possible with online marketing and there's different ways that you can jump into this to actually figure out how to qualify those, which you want to check out in a different video. But those are the three ways to attract um, and qualify and convert more people online. So let me ask you, do you really want to keep showing up to networking events and thinking that the only way to generate quality leads and building the know, like, and trust factor for your business is through in-person events and wasting a ton of time and resources? Or do you want to attract, qualify, and convert more leads online while building the know, like, and trust factor so that you can spend more time on your business and with your family? If you're ready to stop waking up early to attend networking events or lunches that you hate, click below to grab a free training on how to attract, qualify, and convert more leads online. All right, guys, so if you are on YouTube, please make sure that you subscribe and then hit the bell so you get notified every time that we put out content, which is multiple times throughout the week. All right, and if you thought this training was really good, make sure to click the video that's around here somewhere. It's about how to qualify the leads that you're getting in your service-based business.